Hi, I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com, and today's video is on comparing two flutes, silver versus silver plated. I have two Northbridge flutes from Flute Center, and if you like either of these flutes that I'm playing today or what I'm talking about it, or if you're just in the market for a new flute or head joint or piccolo, go to Flute Center because they have a great selection of instruments for you to try. If you use my code DRFLUTE when you fill out your trial sheet or trial form online, uh, that'll get you a couple perks. It gets you free shipping. It'll give you a 10 day warranty, uh, 10 day trial instead of a seven day trial. And it gives you an 18 month warranty instead of a 12 month warranty. So I think those are great perks. You also get 10% off of sheet music if you're in the market for new music. Fill out that form, use my code DRFLUTE. All right, so I am trying Northridge flutes. And the thing that I have compared a silver plated body flute with a silver, pla uh, silver flute before, uh, and I've compared um, in, in, you know, beginner flutes to intermediate flutes to professional models. But what's different about this time is I specifically wanted to compare two of the exact same flute head joints on different bodies. Uh, that's never been the case before when I've compared two instruments. I don't think I've compared two that had the exact identical head joint. So both of these flutes, so this is Northbridge and I have a 700 series and I'm going to compare it with a 500 series. And I'll tell you a little bit more about those uh, as, I, as I'm using them. So this is the 700 that I have in my hand that I played at the beginning of the video. The head joint on this one and the 500 series are exactly the same. These are Chris McKenna head joints and I've tried McKenna head joints before at various uh, conventions and they're great head joints. Uh, Chris McKenna has been making head joints for a long time. So these are silver hand cut head joints and McKenna is the name on them uh, and they're exa exactly the same whether you do the 500, the 600 or the 700 series of the Northbridge flute. And on the 700 series, which is the same as 600, the body is silver, all right? On 500 series, the body is silver plated. So same head joints, silver body, silver plated body. Now on both instruments, they have a silver plated mechanism. So your keys and uh, other mechanisms are going to be silver plated. So it's the body, is silver and silver plated. So I'm going to start with this silver plated 500 series Northbridge flute. So the the opening little uh, couple measures that I played comes from uh, my quartet that I'm playing with these days, which is flute, oboe, bassoon, and piano. This piece is called The Blind Men and the Elephant, uh, and it's a great piece with narration through it. Uh, and that's what I've been working on lately. So I'm going to play a little excerpt from there. All right, so I'm going to just play the same exact opening. Now, immediately I notice a difference. I might have to do them back to back for you to hear that, or you can listen to the opening and listen to this again. One of the things that I do feel different is in the mechanisms. I don't feel that this is quite as sensitive as that 700 series. It's a little bit more uh, I don't know, bulky for me to play. It doesn't mean it's bad. I'm just saying in comparison to the 700 series, it's a little bit more. Nice tone. I think that that's a fine uh, a fine sound. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, uh, but if we wanted to compare it, if I do the same sort of chromatic scale, I think this 
700 series definitely has a warmer tone quality. It's got a little bit more uh, edge to it. I feel like there's more I can do. just do that little bit on the 500 series. So um, if I was just playing this flute by itself, I think it was just fine. It has, um, you know, a nice enough tone. I, I like the cut of the head joint. I like the way it works. But in comparison to that 700 series, I feel like the, t the it's harder for me to focus the tone uh, into a nice clear package. And I think that has to do with the silver plated body. That silver body really does make a difference. That's 500. Let's go with a 700. One of the aspects that the website says about both of these flutes is that you get good projection. I have to say that's probably not what I'm hearing. Uh, I'm not hearing this huge projection or real big huge difference between the two flutes as far as projection goes. I do hear more resonance on this 700 series than I do on the 500. Let me play another passage in something else and see what if you hear a difference between these pieces. Uh, let's play a little foray fantasy. So this is the opening and I have the uh, seven, I have the 500 series in my hands right now. that that's a nice instrument. It's always nice to play a flute that has been, uh, that's new and all the pads are sealing just fine. Here's the 700 series in the same passage. difference. How about you? Are you hearing that difference? I do feel like the response is better on the 700 and I'm able to be more sensitive uh, and have more innuendo and more color changes on the 700. And I think that is the silver body. I do think the silver plated a flute, while it is a little bit less expensive, I think it's about 500 and some less than the 700 series. Uh, or maybe it's a thousand less from 500 to 700. It's about a thousand dollars difference. There is a flute in between, which is the 600 series, which has a silver 
body as well as silver head. There's a couple little differences in there that is in between those two. So in between uh, the 500 and 700, that thousand dollars, so about 550 more, you're going to go with the 600 series. So if you're interested in these, I would try out maybe get a flu trial with all three and then you get to decide because they're all step up instruments. They're, they're all on the next level from a beginner flute. I would probably prefer the 700 series. I think that silver body is going to make a really big difference. You can be more sensitive. I feel like there is more projection in this one. I can make the tone quality be more subtle. It's easier to make it more refined. I do have to work harder on the 500 series to make a really, the tone that I'm looking for that I get on my professional model flute. And I know that I'm not going to get that exact same sound on a intermediate model flute. Um, but you know what? The thing is I can still get a nice, really nice tone on this 500 series. <laughs> And I feel like the more I work with this 500 series flute, the better my tone is getting because I'm understanding the angle that I have to blow here, how much air versus how little air I need to. I, I think that I can blow a little bit less on the silver body, but with both head joints the same, there's a lot of similarities. So the more I work with both flutes uh, with the same head joint, uh, both are going to get better and better because I'm learning this head joint and what I need to do with my airstream. Uh, that's really important for you to figure out as well. So for, you know, a thousand dollars difference, I do think the 700 series makes a bigger dent into what you're looking for in a new sound. But if you don't have that extra thousand dollars, go with this one. It's in that medium range price for intermediate flutes. I think you can get a nice tone out of it. Um, it's not going to give you the same as a silver, but you know, you're paying for extra silver. So if you want to save, if you need to save for another six months, maybe that would be the better plan to go with a solid silver flute. But if you are, uh, you know, for your needs, for what you play for and what you do on a regular basis, you know, band you're playing you you have a regular job or you go to school and um you're just playing this for fun I, I think the 500 series would do well for you but is there a difference between silver plated and silver with the same head joint absolutely and i think that you can hear the differences between those two flutes as well i think that should come across in this video pretty well and again if you like them go to flutecenter.com and uh, do a flu trial and use my code D-R-F-L-U-T-E and have fun trying out flutes.